Carol Baker, an actress who left an indelible mark on Hollywood, was born on May 28, 1931, in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Raised in a humble family, Baker's dreams of stardom led her to New York City, where she trained at the prestigious Actors Studio. Her breakthrough role came in 1956 with Baby Doll, a daring and controversial film that earned her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. The film, directed by Elia Kazan, showcased Baker's versatility and fearlessness as an actress, as she portrayed a young and naive woman trapped in a complex and oppressive marriage. Throughout her career, Baker continued to challenge herself with diverse and thought-provoking roles. In the 1960s, she starred in several European films, including The Subterraneans and The Gospel According to St. Matthew, further solidifying her status as a global star. Baker's work in the theater was equally impressive. She starred in numerous Broadway productions, including Eugene O'Neill's A Touch of the Poet and Tennessee Williams' The Milk Train Doesn't Stop Here Anymore. Her performances were praised for their depth and emotional resonance. Despite facing numerous challenges in the industry, including sexism and ageism, Baker persevered and continued to work in film, television, and theater. Her contributions to the world of entertainment have left a lasting impact, and her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers today. Carol Baker is a classic star, known for her work in film and television. You might have a favorite performance of hers that holds a special place in your heart. Maybe it's the first film of hers you ever watched, or perhaps there's a particular role that resonated with you. Do you remember the first Carol Baker film you ever saw? Was it Baby Doll, a daring and provocative film that earned her a nomination for an Academy Award? Or maybe it was Giant, where she starred alongside James Dean and Elizabeth Taylor? Whatever your first experience with Carol Baker's work, it likely left an impression on you. Maybe you were struck by her vulnerability and innocence, or perhaps it was her strength and determination that caught your attention. We'd love to hear your stories and memories about this classic star. What's your favorite Carol Baker film, and who did you watch it with? What makes it so special to you? As we delve deeper into the life and career of Carol Baker, we'll uncover many funny, shocking, and sad facts that will give you a new appreciation for this iconic actress. So keep watching to learn more. Carol Baker was born in 1931 in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, to a family with modest means. Her father worked as a miner, while her mother was a homemaker. Despite their financial struggles, they encouraged her artistic pursuits from a young age. Baker's mother, in particular, played a significant role in her early exposure to the craft, often taking her to local plays and movies. Baker's family moved frequently due to her father's job, and she attended various schools throughout her childhood. This nomadic lifestyle fostered a sense of independence and adaptability in the actress, which would later serve her well in her career. Baker's passion for acting led her to study at the prestigious Actors Studio in New York City, where she honed her craft under the tutelage of renowned acting coach Lee Strasberg. Strasberg's method acting technique had a profound influence on Baker's approach to her work, teaching her to draw upon her emotions and experiences to create authentic and compelling performances. During her time at the Actors Studio, Baker also had the opportunity to learn from and work alongside other legendary actors, including Marlon Brando and James Dean. These experiences further shaped her artistic identity and solidified her commitment to her craft. Baker's early career was marked by a series of critically acclaimed performances in both stage and screen productions. Her breakout role came in 1956 with the film Baby Doll, for which she received widespread acclaim and an Academy Award nomination. This early success established Baker as a rising star in Hollywood and set the stage for a successful and enduring career in the film industry. Carol Baker's career as an actress had a profound influence on the film industry during her era and beyond. She made her film debut in Easy to Love, but it was her role in Baby Doll that truly launched her career and established her as a serious actress. This film, directed by Elia Kazan, was controversial for its time due to its erotic and provocative themes, and Baker's performance was both daring and unforgettable. Baker's impact on Hollywood was significant. She was one of the first actresses to break away from the traditional good girl roles that were prevalent in the 1950s, and instead embraced complex and challenging characters. Her performances were often fearless and unapologetic, and she was not afraid to take risks in her career. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, Baker continued to push boundaries and challenge herself as an actress. She appeared in a wide range of films, from art house fare like The Gospel According to St. Matthew to mainstream hits like Harlow. 
She also worked with some of the most renowned directors of her time, including John Huston, Samuel Fuller, and Andy Warhol. Baker's contributions to Hollywood are still felt today. She paved the way for future generations of actresses to take on complex and challenging roles, and her legacy as a trailblazer in the industry is undeniable. Despite facing numerous challenges and obstacles throughout her career, Baker remained committed to her craft and continued to work well into her later years. In conclusion, Carol Baker's influence on the film industry was significant and far-reaching. Her bold and daring performances challenged traditional norms and paved the way for future generations of actresses to take on complex and challenging roles. Her contributions to Hollywood continue to be celebrated and remembered today. Ever since Carol Baker was a young girl, she was drawn to the magic of the theater. She would often accompany her mother to watch plays where she was captivated by the actor's ability to bring stories to life. This early exposure to the stage ignited a spark in Baker, and she knew that she wanted to become an actress. Baker's passion for acting only grew stronger as she got older. She attended the prestigious Actors Studio in New York City, where she honed her craft under the guidance of some of the most respected acting coaches in the industry. It was there that she developed her unique style, which combined raw emotion with technical precision. One pivotal moment in Baker's career came when she was cast in the lead role of Baby Doll, a controversial film directed by Elia Kazan. The film was a daring exploration of sexuality and morality, and Baker's performance was hailed as a bold and daring tour de force. The film earned Baker her first Academy Award nomination, and she quickly became one of the most sought-after actresses in Hollywood. Despite the success she found in Hollywood, Baker never forgot her roots in the theater. She continued to appear in plays throughout her career, and she was always eager to take on new and challenging roles. Her passion for acting was infectious, and she inspired countless other actors and directors with her dedication and commitment to her craft. Throughout her long and storied career, Carol Baker has remained a true pioneer in the world of acting. Her contributions to the industry are immeasurable, and her legacy will live on for generations to come. Carol Baker, known for her notable roles, has mixed English and Polish heritage. Her most famed role as Baby Doll Mayan and Baby Doll earned her an Academy Award nomination. Interestingly, when playing Sylvia West in Sylvia, she was portrayed as being born nearly nine years after her actual birthday. In reality, Baker entered this world on May 28, 1931, while her character Sylvia's birthday is listed as November 14, 1939. Carol Baker, a talented actress, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Born in 1931 in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, she experienced financial struggles. To make ends meet, she worked as a waitress and a model. Despite these hardships, she never lost sight of her dream to become an actress. In the film industry, Baker encountered skepticism due to her lack of experience. However, she remained determined and resilient. She took acting classes and worked tirelessly to perfect her craft. Her hard work paid off when she was discovered by a talent agent and offered a role in Broadway play. Despite the initial industry skepticism, Baker's talent shone through. She was soon offered a contract with 20th Century Fox and went on to star in several successful films, including Baby Doll and Giant. Her ability to portray complex characters with depth and authenticity established her as a respected actress in the industry. Baker also faced challenges in her personal life including a highly publicized divorce and custody battle. However, she remained focused on her career and continued to take on challenging roles. She also became an advocate for women's rights and used her platform to speak out on important issues. Throughout her career, Carol Baker faced numerous obstacles, but her resilience and determination allowed her to overcome them. She found creative solutions to financial struggles and industry skepticism and her talent and hard work earned her a place as a respected actress in the film industry. In 1963, Carol Baker signed a contract with Paramount Studios, leading to her portrayal of iconic figures initially designated for Stella Stevens. These included the role of Jean Harlow in Harlow, following Baker's depiction of a Harlow-like character, Rena Marlowe in The Carpetbaggers. Interestingly, film producer Joseph E. Levine cast Jean Hale as Cheryl Barker in the Oscar, a character seemingly inspired by Baker. Meanwhile, personal milestones intertwined with her professional success when she became a mother again at 26. On January 17, 1958, Baker welcomed her second child, Herschel David Garfine, sharing parenthood with then-husband Jack Garfin. Throughout these experiences, both public and private, 
Carol Baker remained steadfastly dedicated to her artistry. Her career continued to evolve through various projects, marking significant moments in cinematic history. As we delve deeper into the storyline, it becomes clear how seamlessly life events wove together during this period. Carol Baker's career was marked by several breakthrough moments that highlighted her versatility as an actress. In the late 1950s, she gained recognition for her role in Baby Doll, a daring and controversial film. Elia Kazan, the director, saw something special in Baker and took a chance on her. He later said she had a quality that was almost childlike, yet erotic at the same time. This classic film brought Baker critical acclaim and solidified her status as a rising star. She was even nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress. The film's boldness and the actress's fearless performance left a lasting impact on the industry. In the 1960s, Baker continued to push boundaries and expand her range. She starred in The Chapman Report, a film that explored complex themes of sexuality and identity. Despite the controversy surrounding the film, Baker's performance was praised for its depth and nuance. Later in her career, Baker turned to the stage, where she continued to make an impact. In the 1970s, she starred in a successful Broadway revival of The Little Foxes. Critics and audiences alike were captivated by her powerful performance. Throughout her career, Carol Baker has left an indelible mark on the world of film and theater. Her willingness to take on challenging roles and her undeniable talent have earned her a place as a respected and admired actress. As one critic put it, Baker's career is a testament to her enduring appeal and her ability to resonate with audiences no matter the role or the medium. Carol Baker, known for her role as Luz Benedict II in the movie Giant, was actually older than her on-screen siblings Fran Bennett and Dennis Hopper. It's interesting to note that the actress was three years Fran's senior and five years Dennis's elder in real life. The film Giant, released in 1956, and How the West Was Won in 1962, are both recognized by the Library of Congress for their cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance. These are just two examples of the actress's contributions to cinema. Carol Baker's legacy extends beyond her own career, as she is the grandmother of Zane Van Dusen and Dara Van Dusenator. They are the children of her daughter Blanche Baker and her first husband, Bruce Van Dusenator, this family connection adds. Another layer to the actress's impact on the world of film. Carol Baker, the actress known for her work in the 1950s and 60s, had a unique approach to her art. She once said, I like to find the truth in every character I play. This focus on authenticity set her apart from her peers. Baker's process began with thorough research. She would delve into the script, studying every line and action of her character. She once explained, I have to understand why my character does what she does. This dedication to understanding her roles allowed her to bring depth and nuance to her performances. The actress also drew from her personal experiences to inform her work. Raised in rural North Carolina, Baker brought a down-to-earth quality to her roles. She once shared, I think my background helps me understand ordinary people and their struggles. This empathy is evident in many of her performances. Baker's worldview was shaped by her experiences as a woman in the male-dominated film industry. She often played characters who challenged societal norms, reflecting her own feminist beliefs. In an interview, she stated, I've always been drawn to roles that subvert expectations. One of Baker's most iconic roles was in Baby Doll, a film that sparked controversy for its depiction of female sexuality. Baker's performance was praised for its vulnerability and strength, reflecting her ability to balance delicate emotions. In Harlow, Baker portrayed the legendary actress Jean Harlow, capturing her spirit and energy. The film showcased Baker's versatility as she embodied a character vastly different from herself. Throughout her career, Carol Baker remained committed to her artistic vision. Her unique approach to acting, rooted in authenticity, personal experience, and a feminist worldview, has left a lasting impact on the film industry. In the film Baby Doll, the working titles were 27 Wagon Loads of Cotton and Mississippi Woman. The latter was changed to Baby Doll on the last day of shooting, as a present to the actress Carol Baker, who played the lead role. When it came time to cast the role of Eleanor Crisp in Kindergarten Cop, several well-known actresses were considered. Audrey Hepburn was offered the part, but declined due to her love for children and her unwillingness to play a character involved in child endangerment. B. Arthur was also considered, but the producers of The Golden Girls wouldn't release her from her contract. Lauren Bucall was briefly considered, but she chose to make Misery instead. Ultimately, the role went to Carol Baker. 
in Giant, Carol Baker played Dame Elizabeth Taylor's daughter, despite being older than Taylor. This classic film showcased the actress's ability to take on a variety of roles and showcased her talent and versatility. Carol Baker, an actress who rose to prominence in the 1950s and 1960s, made a significant contribution to the film industry. She is best known for her role in Baby Doll, a film that earned her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. The actress was a trendsetter in many ways. She brought a new level of sexuality and vulnerability to the screen, challenging the norms of the time. Her performances were often daring and unconventional, which helped to pave the way for future actresses to take on more complex and nuanced roles. Industry experts and those inspired by the actress have praised her impact on the industry. According to film critic Pauline Kael, Baker's performance in Baby Doll was one of the most honest and most uninhibited performances ever recorded on film. Director Mike Nichols, who worked with Baker later in her career, described her as a brave and original actress. Baker's influence can also be seen in the techniques used by actors today. Her ability to convey complex emotions with just a look or a gesture has become a hallmark of modern acting. She was a master of subtlety and nuance, and her performances continue to inspire actors today. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout her career, including being blacklisted in Hollywood for a time, Baker persevered and continued to work in film, television, and theater. Her resilience and determination serve as a testament to her passion for her craft and her commitment to her art. In the end, Carol Baker's contribution to the film industry is undeniable. Her performances have left a lasting impact on the industry and continue to inspire actors and filmmakers today. As film historian David Thompson put it, Baker was a classic example of an actress who could suggest depths of feeling and experience that were far beyond the reach of the script or the direction. In Tennessee Williams' play Baby Doll, Marilyn Monroe was initially considered for the lead role, but director Elia Kazan opted for newcomer Carol Baker, who had caught his attention at the actor's studio in New York. Interestingly, at the premiere of Baby Doll, which was a benefit for the actor's studio, Monroe acted as an usherette. Although Carol Baker portrayed the daughter of Rock Hudson and Elizabeth Taylor in Giant, she was actually only nine years younger than Hudson and just nine months older than Taylor. The kinderhore fashion trend of the 1990s, popularized by Courtney Love, is believed to have been inspired by Carol Baker's style in Baby Doll. The second song on Hole's debut album was even named after the film. This classic has had a lasting impact on popular culture, inspiring fashion trends, and influencing musicians. Carol Baker, the actress, led a life that extended beyond the silver screen. She was known for her love of animals, and often used her platform to raise awareness for their welfare. In her personal time, she could often be found volunteering at local animal shelters and advocating for animal rights. Baker's passion for animals even made its way into her work. She starred in several films and shows that highlighted the importance of treating animals with kindness and respect. Her performances in these productions were deeply informed by her personal values and beliefs. In addition to her work with animals, Baker was also involved in various philanthropic efforts throughout her career. She was a strong supporter of the arts and often donated her time and resources to help promote and support up and coming artists. Despite her many accomplishments, Baker remained humble and dedicated to using her platform for good. She believed that it was important to give back to the community and to use her influence to make a positive impact on the world. Throughout her life, Carol Baker's personal values and interests played a significant role in shaping her work and her philanthropic efforts. She will always be remembered as a kind and compassionate individual who used her talents to make a difference in the lives of animals and people alike. In the 1960s, Carol Baker starred in two major productions alongside esteemed casts. The first was The Greatest Story Ever Told, featuring eight Oscar winners and ten Oscar nominees. Baker played the role of Veronica, delivering a noteworthy performance in this star-studded production. During the same period, she also starred in The Big Country, where she portrayed Patricia Terrell. As of July 2021, she remains the only surviving cast member from the main credits of this classic film. In 1965, Baker took on the lead role in Sylvia, a film that caused her some concern early in production. She requested a new writer for the script, but the front office suggested she focus on girly concerns instead. Ignoring this advice, Baker took matters into her own hands, discarding dozens of handbags provided for her studio dressing room. 
this bold act led to the creation of a character who never carried a handbag. Carol Baker, the actress who rose to fame in the 1950s and 60s, has left an indelible mark on the film industry. Known for her work in classics like Baby Doll and The Big Country, she paved the way for complex female protagonists in Hollywood. Her ability to portray vulnerable yet strong women resonated with audiences and etched her name in cinematic history. When asked about her future contributions, Baker humbly stated that she sees herself continuing to learn and grow as an artist. She believes that every role offers something new and exciting, pushing her boundaries and expanding her horizons. Even after decades in the spotlight, she remains passionate about perfecting her craft. As for those just starting out, Baker advises aspiring actors to stay true to themselves. In a business where it's easy to get lost in the shuffle, she encourages young talent to hold on to what makes them unique. By staying authentic, they can bring fresh perspectives and stories to life. Furthermore, Baker emphasizes the importance of perseverance. Rejection is inevitable in this line of work, but giving up shouldn't be an option. Instead, one must keep working hard and believing in oneself. Success may take time, but ultimately, dedication pays off. Lastly, Baker reminds us all never to forget why we fell in love with acting in the first place. Whether it was watching our favorite films or performing skits as children, passion fuels creativity and drives success. So always remember to nurture that passion and let it guide you through both triumphs and challenges. Continuing her successful acting career, Carol Baker starred alongside notable stars like Sean Penn, Michael Douglas, and Spike Jonze in the game. Also joining them were fellow Oscar recipients Armin Miller-Stahl and Carol Baker herself. In another production, The Big Country, Baker shared screen time with Charlton Heston. They filmed a memorable wrestling match, which required multiple takes, causing visible welts on Baker's wrists due to Heston's firm grip. Despite her smaller stature compared to Heston, she never failed to impress with her determination during filming. After decades dedicated to entertaining audiences worldwide, actress Carol Baker now calls London, England home as of August 2010. Her legacy continues through her remarkable roles in numerous films and stage productions. Will we see more of this iconic actress in future projects? Only time will tell. Carol Baker, born in 1931, embarked on her acting journey in the 1950s. Her passion for storytelling shone through in every performance, making her a household name. Breaking away from traditional roles, she chose daring parts that highlighted her versatility, such as Baby Doll, which earned her Academy Award nomination. Throughout her career, the actress demonstrated innovation by selecting diverse roles, refusing to be typecast. She tackled both contemporary and period pieces with equal finesse, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Even when faced with adversity, like being blacklisted during the McCarthy era, she displayed resilience and continued to work diligently, appearing in films, television shows, and even Broadway productions. This determination ensured that her talent never went unnoticed. Her groundbreaking performances continue to resonate today, inspiring future generations of artists. Indeed, the power of creativity and persistence can lead to remarkable achievements, proving that dreams do come true with hard work and dedication. After 50 years in the motion picture industry, actress Carol Baker retired in 2003. During her career, she experienced both natural and medically assisted childbirth, delivering her daughter Blanche naturally and her son Herschel via forceps. In 1988, Carol Baker was involved in a film project titled Incantesimo Fatale or Fatal Spell, directed by Mario Gariazzo under the pseudonym Ray Garrett. The film also starred Richard Hatch. However, there is no evidence that the movie was completed or released. The production of this film was announced in the October 19, 1988 issue of Variety in the Italian film production column, with filming beginning on October 1, 1988. Despite the uncertainty surrounding Incantesimo Fatale, Carol Baker's contributions to the film industry remain noteworthy. Her career spanned five decades, and she experienced various aspects of filmmaking, from childbirth during her acting career to her involvement in a film that may have never seen the light of day. In the film West and Sylvia, actress Carol Baker carries a purse in the scene where Jane gets hit by a car. Despite her previous refusal to do so due to the studio's emphasis on trivial details, Prior to taking on this role, Baker had been suggested by James Dean to director Nicholas Ray for the part of Judy in Rebel Without a Cause. However, her husband, Jack Garfin, urged her to return to New York after completing the screen test, leading to the termination of negotiations. 
to accurately portray her character in West and Sylvia, who has a questionable past, Baker engaged in various activities as part of her preparation process. She spent time working at a night diner, handled money in a penny arcade booth, and even visited a brothel in Tijuana. These experiences were extensively covered in a February 27, 1965 issue of the Saturday Evening Post through a photo essay titled, The Lady Was a Tramp. Through these actions, Baker aimed to immerse herself fully in the role and bring authenticity to her performance. After playing the role of Jean Harlow in Harlow, the actress, Carol Baker, claimed she was mistreated by producer Joseph E. Levine. This experience led to her being blackballed in Hollywood, prompting her to start making films in Europe. On August 25, 2018, Turner Classic Movies honored her film work during their Summer Under the Stars event. Despite this recognition, Baker's career was marked by challenges, including her refusal to act in a series of movies based on books by Erskine Caldwell. This decision resulted in her losing out on significant roles, such as The Three Faces of Eve for 20th Century Fox, as well as Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and The Brothers Karamazov for MGM. The actress's career serves as a reminder of the consequences of standing up for one's principles in the entertainment industry. In the star-studded epic How the West Was Won, Carol Baker takes on the role of Eve Prescott alongside notable actors, including Henry Fonda, Carl Malden, and Gregory Peck. Interestingly, she plays the mother of George Papar, who was actually three years her senior in reality. Their unusual familial relationship continued two years later, when they portrayed stepmother and stepson, and even romantic interests, in The Carpetbaggers. Fast forward several decades, the actress received a Career Lifetime Achievement Award during the 2011 Hoboken International Film Festival, a testament to her lasting influence in Hollywood. Despite being known for playing complex roles across various genres, it's worth noting that these descriptions don't fully capture the essence of Carol Baker. Instead, let's focus on the fact that here is an actress whose work has stood the test of time, earning recognition both then and now. Whether one started appreciating her artistry early on or just discovered it recently, each viewer can attest to the undeniable impact she leaves behind. In the film How the West Was Won, Carol Baker, who played Eve Prescott, formed a close friendship with Debbie Reynolds. The cast of The Big Country, which included Baker as Patricia Terrell, kept themselves entertained during filming through various activities, such as playing cards, sketching, hosting turtle races, and playing chess. A short video featuring behind-the-scenes footage of these activities, narrated by Gene Simmons, can be found on YouTube. For the movie Giant, the actress was cast as Luz Benedict too, while other actresses, including Dawn Adams, Joanne Drew, Martha Heyer, Piper Laurie, Elizabeth Montgomery, Inga Stevens, and Susan Strasberg, were considered for the role of Judy. Benedict. In the film Harlow, Carol Baker took on the role of Jean Harlow, while Dame Angela Lansbury played her mother. Interestingly, there was only a six-year age gap between the two actresses. Before her acting career, Baker was crowned Miss Florida Fruits and Vegetables in 1949, showcasing her early talent for being in the spotlight. However, there was a time when Baker's career faced a setback. When she declined to play a nymphomaniac in the film too much, too soon, Warner Brothers refused to loan her out for the film The Devil's Disciple, costing her the opportunity to work alongside Laurence Olivier, Burt Lancaster, and Kirk Douglas. Despite this obstacle, Baker's career continued to flourish, and she became known for her captivating performances in various films and shows. Her talent and hard work have left a lasting impact in the world of cinema, inspiring future generations of actors and actresses. After studying drama at the Herbert Berghoff HB studio in Greenwich Village, New York City, Carol Baker made a name for herself in the film industry. Her breakthrough role as Baby Doll May in the 1956 film Baby Doll earned her critical acclaim and a spot among Hollywood's rising stars. Interestingly, Baker shared the screen with both Carl Malden and Eli Wallach in Baby Doll, and the three of them would later reunite in the 1962 film How the West Was Won. However, in the latter film, Malden and Baker were the only ones to share scenes together. In addition to her film success, Carol Baker was also honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1725 Vine Saint on February 8, 1960. This recognition further solidified her status as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. In the film Giant, Carol Baker played the role of Luz Benedict II, the youngest daughter of Leslie and Bick. Interestingly, the actress portraying Leslie, Elizabeth Taylor, was actually a year younger than Baker in real life. 
At the premiere of the movie, fans were so convinced that James Dean's death was a publicity stunt that they turned up in droves expecting to see him. The situation escalated into a near riot when it became clear that he would not be making an appearance. Baker's acting talent also caught the attention of an African Maasai chieftain while she was on location in Kenya for the film Mr. Moses. The chieftain was reportedly so fascinated by her that he offered 150 cows, 200 goats and sheep, and 750 for the actress. Despite the passing of time, the impact of Carol Baker's performances in these classic films continues to resonate with audiences today. In 2009, the actress Carol Baker was bestowed with the National Arts Club Medal of Honor in New York City, acknowledging her significant contributions to the world of film. Originally rising to fame in the mid-1950s, she received her first Oscar nomination for the comedy drama Baby Doll in 1956, making her the second earliest surviving recipient of a Best Actress nomination, preceded only by Leslie Kara. One of the actress's most memorable roles was that of Jean Harlow in the biopic Harlow, released in 1965. Interestingly, that same year, Carol Baker shared the screen with Angela Lansbury in The Greatest Story Ever Told a biblical epic that depicted the life of Christ. The actress's career has been marked by her ability to embody diverse characters, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. Even today, her work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences and industry professionals alike. After giving birth to her first child, Blanche Joy Garfin, at the age of 25, Carol Baker's career continued to flourish. On May 4, 2001, she was honored with a Golden Palm Star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars, showcasing her lasting impact in the film industry. One notable film featuring the actress was The Greatest Story Ever Told, which brought together George Stevens and several actors he had worked with before, including Carol Baker herself. This star-studded cast also featured Van Heflin, Joseph Schildkraut, Shelley Winters, and Ed Wynn, all of whom had previously collaborated with Stevens on various projects. And the greatest story ever told, Carol Baker portrayed Veronica, demonstrating her versatility and commitment to her craft. This classic film served as a testament to her enduring talent and her ability to captivate audiences, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema. In 1965, actress Carol Baker joined Bob Hope on the USS Ticonderoga CV-14, contributing to his morale-boosting visits during the Vietnam War. Earlier, she had played the role of Baby Doll Megan in the film Baby Doll. Baker shared that the crew was unaware of the controversy the movie would spark, particularly around the seduction scene between her and Eli Wallach. The scene, suggestive in nature, led to speculation about inappropriate contact, although both actors maintained that heaters were placed around them due to cold weather, making it impossible to see Wallach's hands in the close-up shots. Prior to her acting career, Carol Baker worked as a nightclub dancer to fund her tuition at the actor's studio. This decision highlights her determination to succeed in the industry, even when faced with financial challenges. The actress's journey from nightclub dancing to becoming a prominent figure in Hollywood is a testament to her dedication and resilience. As you reflect on the career of Carol Baker, a few standout performances may come to mind. Perhaps you recall her breakout role in Baby Doll or her chilling turn in The Night of the Hunter. Maybe you're a fan of her work in European cinema or her later television appearances. Whatever your thoughts on the actress's legacy, we'd love to hear them. Share your favorite Carol Baker moments in the comments below. Of course, the actress's work is just one part of the rich tapestry of entertainment history. By exploring and celebrating classic films and shows, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the art form and the talented individuals who have shaped it over the years. So whether you're a lifelong fan of Carol Baker or just discovering her work for the first time, we invite you to join the conversation like and share this post to spread the word and be sure to subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits who have left their mark on the world of entertainment.